How do? Welcome to Technique Tuesday and what I hope to be is a long running series of how can I help you. Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to King Bespoke Creations. Yes, I'm asking you, how can I help you? What videos can I make that might assist you in the workshop? Whether that's with a certain tool, usually hand tool would work in, might be some guitar builds or some joinery questions. I'm hoping to have lots of questions from you that I can make videos for so I can help you guys out. I want to be here for you. Now the way I'm going to do this is by anybody that replies to the emails I send out from my mailing list. So if you're not on my mailing list, click the link in the description, sign up for it. Then you can reply back to any of the emails I send, which is only about one a month because I'm a busy guy. And from there, I'll try and do my best to answer some questions. So today's question comes from Bryce. Thank you, Bryce. It's all about the hand plane. Now he's got a problem with the plane clogging up inside here. Um, now he said he's followed my sharpening video, which I'll leave a link in the description for that. Make sure you check that out. So he knows the blade is sharp, but it's still clogging up. So what's the problem? Well, when a plane clogs up, usually it's not the blade that's the issue. So if we take this cap iron off and then we take the blade out, we have the blade and its nice, lovely, sharp edge on the end. But on the other side, we have this section with a little bow on it there that pins up against the edge. This is called the chip breaker. So if we take this off, what we need to do is take this off and have a look at this leading edge here. So this wants to be not sharp, but actually nice and flat and consistent because it needs to make sure that it runs perfectly flat on the edge of there. If there's any gaps between the chip breaker and the blade, stuff will get caught in there and will then start clogging things up. What we can do is take this edge to one of just the rougher ends of your sharpening station and make sure that that is beautifully flat. It doesn't matter about this side of that flat section, it's the leading edge that's super important. So you can just see there, we've freshened up that leading edge. Now this won't need doing very often, um, but keep an eye on it. If you find that you are chipping up a lot, maybe have a look at this and make sure that that is nice and, and flat along there. You'll actually feel an, an edge on it. It's not sharp in the same way, but still something to be looking at. So then when we put this back on, make sure that we rotate it round so we're not putting this anywhere near the edge of your blade now that it's nice and sharp as well. Uh, but when we reset this, we want to make sure that this chip breaker isn't a long way off from the edge of your blade. Because if it is, it means it's not doing anything. It's not doing its job. It's not pulling the chips off the wood and separating them out. You may as well not bother. So what we want to do is set this chip breaker about, about a millimeter off the edge of the iron. Okay, so can you see there? Super, super close. That way, when it's running through the wood, it instantly hits the chip breaker and falls out of the way rather than breaking and clogging up, which is quite often what's then happening and what's causing that chipping. Now, the only other thing that could cause us a problem is this section here. This angled part is called the frog. I don't know why it's called the frog, but it is. Um, and this can be moved backwards and forwards. We can see right at the bottom uh, where it joins in to the actual sole of the plane down at the bottom here. All I do with that is make sure it's running flush at the bottom. I don't want to feel a lip because if there's a gap on either edge, again, it means that the blade might be able to flex or there might be a gap behind it and suddenly chips are going where they shouldn't do. So then we're just putting the blade back in or so the screw will fit into this little divot in here. So it's going to go that way around so you can see how that chip breaker is the lump is on the top 
that's going to set into there. I usually give this a bit of a wiggle to make sure it's seated correctly. And then we can put the cap iron back on. Now, when we come to set the blade, can you see I've poked it out a little bit further than is necessary. And with that, you can see that it's high on this side. Okay. Now, when you're looking at it like that, this adjustment lever at the back is what changes the angle of the blade. If you pull it towards the high spot, it pulls it down. And if you go too far, it'll start poking it out the other end instead. So then you can look down there and make sure that you've got it nice and flat and flush with the sole of your plane. And then the final test is just to make sure you're only taking off super thin slices at a time. If you go in straight away too thick, it's probably going to do something. It might even move the blade inside the plane if we're a bit heavy handed. So they start off with absolutely nothing and then wind the wheel in a little bit at a time. So the first pass gives us pretty much dust. Wind it in a little bit more. And there we have beautiful crisp sections that come off super thin no way that's going to clog up inside and hopefully you'll love your plane forevermore So I hope that's very useful to you. If your plane keeps getting caught up and jammed in the middle, maybe go and have a look at that chip breaker. Until next time, sharpen your tools and I'll see you soon.